Today I found out that one of my enemies, I found out that this person is really going through some tough times. Now, I believe in God punishing people, but we have to know that we have to have compassion for our enemies as well. Now, this person really hurt me multiple times more than one time probably overall i would say about somewhere around 10 to 20 times at least that but i was finding out what this person is going through and what might happen to this person and to be quite honest my first instinct was to like say hey that is what he gets like he deserves to get punished as much as possible but something came over me and I was like no no I really feel sorry for that person. Even though this person did some very bad things toward me, stabbed me right in the back more than once. But I was really feeling sorry for this person. So I was praying to God today, asking for mercy. Asking, so I was interceding on his behalf, asking God to have mercy on him even when that person did things to hurt me. Because, like I said, I believe in punishment, but what if you were going through the same things as your enemy? Wouldn't you ask for mercy as well? Really bad things. So what am I trying to say? Pray for your enemies. If you see your enemies go through trouble, I know your first instinct is like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> they are getting punished. Yes, yes, that is wrong. We should not glory when our enemies are being punished or when they are going through bad things. I know that we may want to, but that is wrong. that is so wrong we should not glory when our enemies go through bad times don't do that that is wrong if you can when you calm down what you should do is pray to God for them asking God for mercy for them I'm serious and yes it may be hard to do right now but when you do it more and more and more listen with some people perhaps all of us to a certain extent our hearts can be hard toward certain things meaning that we don't have compassion as much as we should i know that we don't like when people do us wrong and stuff like that but you have to see it in a larger picture we are all being tested on this world some people are doing very well in the test that god give them on this earth some people are really doing bad and listen man if you ever get to the point where you don't care or you look forward for your enemies to burn in hell that is awful that is awful where you don't care if a person goes to hell or not like hey this person has been bothering me and I want this person to go to hell. 
if you ever get to that point, you need prayer. I believe that you are not serving God because for you to want a person or don't care if a person is burning in hell, that is bad. I believe in punishment. I am a believer in punishment. But when it gets to the point where a person is being tormented for an eternity, I can't send a person to a place like that. Or I would not want a person to go through something like that. Punishment, yes. Prison, yes. Jail, yes. But to the point where you being tormented for an eternity, if you can accept that, something is wrong with you. If you get to the point where you don't care if a person is being tormented, something is wrong with you. Your heart is very hard. And if you have a hard heart, there are many more things that are wrong with you. Many more things. So really take heed to what I am saying, please. Be compassionate. Look, we are all, we are all humans. We all have been through certain things. Some people can deal with life better than others. We need to help people who are not doing that well with life. Even if they act really crazy, even if they have stabbed you right in the back multiple times. We need to help these type of people. I pray that this makes sense. I pray that this makes sense. I may even write this person my enemy. I'm serious. Because the thing that is going to happen to him, or if it does happen to him, is going to be so sad. So really take heed to this. Don't be... Don't be hard-hearted. We have to have compassion for people, man. Really pay attention to what I am saying. And yes, your heart may be hard right now, but the more acts of compassion that you give, the more soft your heart is going to be. Because at one time, my heart was hard too. But I changed. The more good things I was doing toward people, God started to soften my heart. This is one of the reasons why I am the way I am now. Because I didn't get there until I pushed myself to do what is right. I wasn't really the type of person to give to people until I forced myself to give. I wasn't the type of person who would minister to people about God until I began to do it. I did not start doing the things that I am doing now until I began to do it. Because the way that I am now I wasn't that way when I was doing those things to get to where I am now because it was out of my personality. It wasn't me because I was not the type of person that would do those things. But since I was doing those things, now I am the way that I am now. I pray that this makes sense. Be more compassionate. So what? Someone hurt your feelings. Yes, it does hurt. But look at the overall picture. That person needs help. What if that person goes to hell and God shows you, hey, if you would have helped this person, this person would have went to heaven. What if God shown you that or 
was to show you that, how would you feel? That would really make you feel terrible, right? My Lord. I pray that this makes sense. We need to help even when it hurts. And the more you do it, the more tolerance you are going to have toward it. So yes, you may get hurt the first time, the second time, the third time, all the way to the tenth time. Then after a while, you are going to build a tolerance for it to where it is not going to hurt as much. You are going to reap what you sow. So you are not going to lose anything. Think about that. Compassion. Love. I want my enemies to be punished in a certain way, but not harshly. Because how can I cry out for mercy when I don't have mercy for my enemies? Give this person 80 years in prison, but when I get into trouble, hey, drop all the charges. What? No, it does not work that way. If you want mercy, you have to give mercy. Because we, there are things that we have done to hurt other people. We may not be doing those bad things now, but we did do it at one time. So when someone hurts us like that, how can we want to beat the person over the head? But when we go through something, we want people to be kind and merciful for us. My Lord, compassion. Compassion. Yes, it hurts. But you can't run away from pain. How many people or how many times have you separated from people thinking that you are not going to get hurt anymore, but even when you are alone, you are still hurt? You can't run away from pain. You can't. Even if you are an introvert, staying to yourself, how can you stay away from pain? You are going to feel pain some way, either from a person or from your personal life, somehow, because pain is going to follow you somehow. I pray that this makes sense. So hold out your hand for people. Help people, even when it hurts. I would not be telling you this if I was not doing this myself. I get hurt, but I move on. I get hurt again, and I move on. I get hurt more, and I move on. I can't stop because someone hurt me like, hey, this person hurt me, so I am done with everyone. You can't do that. You can't do that. No, that is wrong. That is wrong. That is so wrong. Hold out your hand. Hold out your hand for people. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.